20 million dollars. 20 mil. House on the hill. A Lamborghini in the driveway. Fly first class both ways. Both ways. See the world when I want to. When I want Shop to. Shopping when I want to. When I'm best with interest, a show do. That'll do. $5,000 on the hotel. Welcome back, guys, to the Zig Family. How's everybody doing today? Uh, hey, hey, what's up, Zig fam? Hope you guys are good, 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 good today. You got a special day for you. As y'all know, it is Black History Month. Yes. February is Black History Month. We get They just give us those short little 28 days to celebrate us. But you know what? We'll take it. So, so in sorry. honor of Black History Month, we're, um, you know, going to give you some fun facts, <coughs> some fun black history facts. And have a delicious meal. And my husband here is going to give you his thoughts on black people. So, with that being said, let's get into the food. <coughs> we, have, ooh, excuse me. <coughs> we have got um, pretty much a traditional Jamaican meal here. We have um, beef liver, cow's liver here. We've got green bananas. Um, they're basically the ripe bananas that you would eat. However, they're on ripe so they're really really green and they're starchy and almost like a like a potato consistency i'm gonna drop a picture below so you guys can see what they actually look like in their uncooked state they're very firm and um <clears throat> they give you the feel of a potato mm -hmm. they're not at all sweet like a ripe yellow banana and then here in the middle we've got callaloo Callaloo is a green vegetable, as you can see, green leafy vegetable, somewhat similar to spinach, see? but has um, a different flavor. Why are you already eating? No, no I just want to show them. But you, no, I'm not talking about you showing them. Why are you eating? It's like, it's just in the fork. You could have put it back. I yeah, did. We're not ready to eat I yet. No, but you're eating. <laughs> okay, sorry. Sorry, guys. Anywho, um, yeah, so this is something that's traditionally had in Jamaica, from what I know, mostly on Sunday mornings. Um, today's not Sunday, <laughs> obviously, but um, traditionally on Sunday mornings, <clears throat> you know, after you get back from church, you've got a nice hearty breakfast. And <clears throat> I know that they typically give this to people who are iron deficient mm -hmm. or anemic. Because everything here is rich in iron. Mm -hmm. Liver, rich in iron. These green bananas, rich in iron. And the callaloo. So if you're iron deficient or anemic, this is a great iron booster for you. What does iron do for your body? <coughs> I don't know what iron does to the body, but oh. there are people who are iron deficient. The doctor will tell them that. Um, or people who are anemic, who suffer from anemia. Mm. If you're a person who, like, a sign that you're either iron deficient or anemic is if you're one of those people who love crunching on ice, mm -hmm. like, you'll just sit and crunch on ice all day, that's a sign of um, iron deficiency. Mm -hmm. I don't know the specifics of what it does to your body, but I know it's important. On that note, let's dig in. All right. Let's start. Start with the liver. Oh, a big bite. <laughs> I know not everyone likes liver. Um, I really think it's just how you cook it. <laughs> mm -hmm. And some people click it when it's like really hard, it's really tough. Mm -hmm. Not hard, but tough. But it's just, it's good. It's tender. Tender. Yeah. And spicy. <laughs> and um, if you can get your hands on veal liver, that's even more tender than the the beef liver well you know the cow's liver the older cow good job thank you and when you're doing this you want to make sure you have lots and lots of gravy for those bananas yeah yeah it goes well together really really well 
Mm. Some tea. Yeah, I got some hot tea here as well. Now this is a meal that, yeah, I know traditionally served um, as a breakfast meal, but really you can have it any time of day. You really can. This is the green banana. Some gravy on there. It is delicious. Mm. Liver is something, guys. You want to make sure you don't overcook it. Mm -hmm. If you overcook mm -hmm. it, it's going to be like shoe, shoe leather. <laughs> Let's try this Kalaloo. Kalaloo is one of my favorite greens. Okay. Nice and healthy. Okay. A lot of folks like their liver in bigger pieces. Um, in the Caribbean, we usually uh, leave it in smaller pieces. And I know you guys are probably used to like liver and onions or fried liver. That's not how we do it. We make it almost like a stew. It's cooked down with like, you know, onions and pepper and, and garlic and scallions and yeah, really flavorful. Mm, 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 mm. All right, babe. So let's get into Black history. Mm -hmm. Now, as you guys can see, obviously, we are an interracial couple. We are. I'm idea. black. I'm from Jamaica. He is Hispanic what they would call a white Hispanic. Hispanic in the sense that he's from South America, that's where he was born. Um, his ancestry is Italian. So clearly a big difference here um, in the way that we were raised and how we grew up, people that we were around. Um, so I figured I would get, you know, I already know his thoughts, but we would share it with you. <coughs> The perspective of a non-black person, how they feel about us. So I'm not black. On the inside, you got a black soul. That's what you got. <laughs> oh, that didn't sound right. A black soul? Nah, take that back. Your soul is not black. <laughs> but y'all know what I'm saying. Anywho, yeah. So I see you got some notes, so you don't forget anything. Mm -hmm. that you wanted to say <coughs> so let let that let, let our audience <coughs> you okay yeah it was spicy. spicy i know mm -hmm. um yeah so share your thoughts with us mm -mm -mm. i want to take a big bite that's too big of a bite mm -hmm. yes um, as you say i have some and I'll, I'll try not to eat it all Hey, last meal, you ate it all while I was talking. Enjoy. <laughs> uh, sorry. <coughs> mm -mm. Okay, <clears throat> where do I start? I didn't want to, no, couldn't find the words, so I had to write, write it down. What I think. Speak up. What I think. <laughs> so, I think black people, beautiful people, um, they're great people. Um, how would I describe when I say beautiful people? Um, not just the way they, they interact, the way they are with other people, well, the way they are within, within themselves. They're um, funny, they're loving, um, they're there for you. Um, they're, they have beautiful culture. Um, how how they get into it? How they describe them? They say beautiful culture. Okay. I guess you guys understand. Just they say beautiful culture. Um, what they're about, their history, the, the um, the fashion, um, the music, just everything about them. They're a very spiritual 
like they, they, we go to their church or come to, to other churches are like so vibrant so loud so happy you know so much and you know this you can see that they, they believe you know the, in, in the creator guys you y'all know how we get when you go to a black church it's like a whole different vibe that's so, what i mean yeah a whole different vibe now you can you can just you you know what i mean <laughs> okay um back when i was a kid when i was much younger um I used to watch black shows and listen to black music. What I mean by that is um, Family Matters, Different World, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, The Cosby's. I mean, like when I used to come home from school, I would just go to my room, or if I was in the living room and there was no room, or nobody around, I would turn on the TV and that's what I used to watch. <clears throat> just by myself because um, I have a brother, but we're, um, what's that word? Estranged, basically, you know? Um, then my mom, she loves everybody. My father, uh, well, he's, um, <clears throat> I'll put it into easy words. He's very racist. He didn't like black people. Um, but I loved when I was on TV and I, and I saw these shows, I loved what I saw. I, I wish I was part of that, that kind of that family. You know, I love how they used to love each other, how there was so much laughter and they cared for each other. And all you saw was love. You know, something that didn't happen in my family. You know, I wanted to be part of that. Um, the music, I love the music, you know, rap, R&B, you know, BET was my channel back in the day. I'm sorry, you guys, if you guys can't really hear me, you know, it's just it's something, honestly, that gets me like a little bit emotional. Um, also, their history. Um, I love learning about the history. I mostly learned a lot about their history when I was in high school. This well, I went to a small high school called El Puente Academy for Peace and Justice in, in Brooklyn. And they taught us a lot about their history. So I learned about the Black Panther Party, Malcolm X, you know, um, Martin Luther King. You know, and I really loved the, learning about the Black Panthers and about Malcolm X, what they stood for, how strong they were, and how they fought for the, for the people. Um, those of my notes that I wrote down, but yes, I love the people, the culture, the music, how they get along. You know, like I said, when I was small, younger in my days, when I was with my family, I watched BT, you know, the shows, the music, you know, rap, and you know, I watched these shows, and I wish I was part of that, that, that family that was seen in the, that screen. You know, I wish I could reach out and just throw myself in there, honestly, you know. So now that I'm, that, you know, that I'm in my wife and, and, and her family, I'm very happy, you know. They're great people, the great family, you know. And when I was a kid, I didn't have friends, you know, because when I was a kid, like I said, I had a racist father, you know, it was hard to even go out or you need in school. So that's my my story, that's how I feel, you know, about this beautiful these beautiful people. Like history month. Good. Well, guys, he is proof that I believe that racism is taught. <clears throat> I don't believe that anyone is actually born racist. You may disagree with that. But um, here's proof that, you know, besides your upbringing and how you were raised or what you were taught by your parents, once you get older and you become an adult or on your way to adulthood, you read books, you see things, you learn things. It's like they say, <clears throat> you know, when you know better, you do better. So <clears throat> that's what I have to say about that. <laughs> All right. Mm -mm. This food is so good. How is it? Mm? How is it's it? It's very good. Yeah, mm, everything you make is good. Yeah. True that, true that, true that, you know. You'll never hear me complain. Maybe a few times, you know. Yeah, there's a, a few times when <coughs> I wasn't hitting, yeah, right? Yeah, putting your foot in the, in the pot, you put your finger in it. <laughs> <coughs> 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 oh, that was funny. <coughs> but this time I put my foot, <coughs> my foot in it. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, both of them. Guys... <coughs> If you've ever, if you do have the opportunity and you see <clears throat> on ripe bananas, the really green ones, boil them up in salted water 
They're great, just like mashed with butter. They make amazing fries. Like you cook them, let them cool completely. You cut them up, <clears throat> salt them, and deep fry them. Oh my God. They're very, it'll kind of be similar to the yucca fries we had the other day. <clears throat> so much better than regular potato fries. I, I kid you not. They make delicious fries <coughs> as well. <coughs> mm. This is spicy. I think I kind of OD'd on the habanero peppers. Oh, um, yeah. I use habanero peppers in um, my liver. Traditionally in Jamaica, we would use scotch bonnet, but it's kind of hard to find real scotch bonnets. And the next best thing to the real scotch bonnets would be habaneros. So, if you hear us coughing a lot, it's that habanero hitting. Mm -hmm. Really spicy. And again, make sure you got lots of gravy for these bananas. Mm -mm -mm. My mom loves these bananas with um curry. Mm -hmm. Lots of gravy. And this is something that's really filling. Right? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to give you some fun facts. Like, I'm sure he probably didn't know about these. I didn't know about some of them. But, uh, Teach us. <coughs> huh? Teach us. Yeah. It's just um, something that I found online. <coughs> I thought was pretty interesting. So... I wanted to share some of these um, cool and surprising black history facts that you guys should keep in mind. Now, you guys remember Condoleezza Rice. Um, she was in the Bush administration. Mm -hmm. So both Condoleezza Rice and Martin Luther King Jr. started college when they were only 15 years old. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. So, I mean, Martin Luther King Jr. starting college at 15, that tells you right there that he was, you know, smart and intelligent beyond his years. We already knew that he, he was smart and intelligent, but to start college at 15, that's a big deal, right? How many 15-year-olds do you know are entering into college? Not a lot. And especially, you know, um, a black 15-year-old, that, that's fantastic. Um, then <coughs> this one I knew being Jamaican, extremely proud in 2008, our family, the one and only Mr. Usain Bolt became the first man to ever in history set three world records in a single Olympic game. Yep. That's a big game. A big deal ever in history. Three Olympic records in a single game. Mm -hmm. And Usain Bolt, Jamaican. I don't see anybody ever beating them. <laughs> my fellow Yardie. So I thought that was um pretty, pretty awesome, awesome, awesome fact. Um, let's see what else we've got here. <coughs> oh, um, this one. Uh, Will Smith, you know, mm -hmm. Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Um, what's that other movie? Bad, <coughs> Bad, Bad Boys. Boys. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <coughs> we all know Will Smith. Mm -hmm. Both him and Jazzy Jeff mm -hmm. won the first ever Grammy for Best Rap Performance. That was the first year <coughs> they had that category, Best Rap Performance. And it and they were the first recipients, the first winner of that mm -hmm. award. And it actually turns out that year, both him and Jazzy Jeff boycotted the Grammys mm -hmm. because the the Grammy folks decided not to air that category on TV. Mm -hmm. So you know their awards that they give. Mm -hmm. It, it no. would be like a three and five hour show if they aired every single category on the televised version. So they do some that are not televised, but they did not televise 
that category. And because of that, although they were the first ever recipients of the award, they actually boycotted the Grammy that year. So mm. I thought that was um, <clears throat> pretty interesting. I had no idea about that. And sticking with music, <coughs> the king of pop mm -hmm. that we all know and love, Michael Jackson, snagged several Guinness World Records including the highest annual earnings for a pop star, best-selling album of all time for his classic album, Thriller. Also, he holds the um, <clears throat> Guinness World Record for most Grammy Awards won in a year. He actually took home eight Grammy Awards. Um, and incidentally, Beyonce actually holds the record <coughs> for women. So... Um, I think she took home six in 2010. So black folks, we, we were doing our thing in the music industry. Yeah. You know, I thought those were um, some pretty cool and interesting facts. Um, they one, did a thing, but yet they still don't get enough recognition. Agreed. Mm -hmm. Agreed. Yeah. I think um, Diddy was just talking about yeah. that the other day. Yeah. I didn't really hear his whole speech and everything that he had to say, but um, I know he didn't go to the <coughs> Grammys, but um, he, you know, had a whole thing. I'm sure you guys can find it on YouTube where he was talking about, although it's 2020, black people are still not getting the in recognition, recognition. Mm -hmm, that we deserve in the, the music industry. So the same thing, same when it comes to movies or shows, you know, yeah, it, it has improved, but not enough. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I completely agree. And then last but not least, this is something <coughs> that I didn't know. Um, the great, wonderful, phenomenal woman, mm -hmm. Maya Angelou. Yes. She actually stopped Great celebrating. Poems. Yeah, she stopped celebrating her birthday mm -hmm. for many, many years. And the reason behind that is because she was very close friends. She was really good friends with Mark, Martin Luther King Jr. And he was assassinated on her birthday. Oh, yeah, I had, no idea. I had no idea. So because he was assassinated on her birthday, she actually stopped celebrating her birthday. And um, what Makes she sense. would do instead is every year when her birthday rolls around, which is sadly the also mm -hmm. the anniversary of his death, she would send flowers to his wife, mm. Mrs. King, to commemorate that day. So I, I had no idea about that, that mm. he was ass assassinated on her birthday. Thank you and, for the information. Yeah. And I'm, I'm, I'm glad that, you know, yes, you want to celebrate your birth, but... In the same breath, a, a life, a very valuable life, you know, was taken on that day. So, and especially if it's a friend, mm -hmm. <clears throat> I can understand why mm -hmm. the difficulty to, to celebrate your day. Yes. So, with that being said, guys, I hope you all enjoyed, <clears throat> you know, our little thing here, <clears throat> bringing up some Black history facts, finding out the perspective of, <clears throat> you know, someone who for the lack of a better words, grew up in a, in a racist home, yes. you know, their, their thoughts on black people, black culture. So I hope you guys saw this uh, informative and, yes. you know, Once again, if I, when I was talking, you couldn't hear me because I get very emotional, but if you have any questions, just <laughs> throw it out the comments, you know, ask me, I'll answer them for you. You know, absolutely. Um, we love you guys very much, very dearly. Thank you for being part of the Zig family, to all the members. Thank you for joining. For the newcomers, please stay with us. Mm -hmm. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, share with everyone, comment because we like to talk. You know, <laughs> we like to interact. Yeah, we we'll love to you interact know. with you guys. Absolutely. All right. And <clears throat> share, 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 share with everyone. Neighbors, street people, everywhere. Your vendors. You know what I'm saying? Go to McDonald's, KFC, go. Let them tell tell them about us, right? They're going to be looking at them strange. But in any event. You got to do what you got to do. <coughs> be sure to share it on all your social media, on your Twitter, on your Facebook, on your Instagram. Please share our videos, you know, so that 
everyone becomes a part of the Zig fam. Can you please move that fake microphone from my mouth? <laughs> yes. So share, 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 share with everyone. All right. With that being said, you guys, we are going to wrap it up. Thank you so much for joining us today. All right. And see you on the next one. Mi gente, muchas gracias por estar con nosotros. Hasta la vista. Mua. 20 million dollars. 20 mil. House on the hill. A Lamborghini in the driveway. Fly first class both ways. Both.